Hello, YouTube. I figure I'm gonna do another um, Food and Day video. So again, just like the last time was the first time I'm having, it's my coffee. Um, again, also ran out of milk again. So um, coffee with a little bit of cream in there. So um, I was thinking, actually, uh, it might be beneficial to go through the thought process that I actually. <coughs> Sorry, my dog is just like <laughs> by my foot. No, no. Anyhow. Um, the thought process that I go through when figuring out what I'm going to have. So, um, I'm thinking, you know, I have, I have stuff for the cottage cheese and cucumber that I usually do, but I, I don't know. I kind of want something different today. Uh, I do have some tomatoes in the fridge I was thinking. So I was thinking of maybe tomatoes with feta, uh, cause I do enjoy that. Um, I was thinking of possibly making myself an egg and having that with a little bit of my kale and mushroom casserole that I made the other day. Um... But I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'll, some days I do like a little anti-pasta platter. So I'll do like marinated vegetables and like uh, a couple of cold cuts or a piece of cheese and stuff like that. Um, what am I going to have today? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it turns out to be. But I know all those options are good and available. All right, guys. So what did I end up uh, picking for um, breakfast? So I've got, um, on this plate, I have tomatoes and feta, and um, I chopped up some fresh basil and uh, mint from the garden, uh, and drizzle of olive oil, a little bit of pepper, some olives, hard-boiled egg uh, with salt and pepper on it, and that is breakfast. Protein and produce. Uh, all right, so... Um... Got a bit of a late start today. It's about two o'clock right now. I haven't had lunch yet, but I had breakfast pretty late. Breakfast took me about, I don't know, I probably was nibbling on it for like an hour and I did finish the plate. Um, had another coffee and uh, I'm thinking a little bit about lunch, but I'm not, I'm not super hungry right now. So I might uh, wait a bit and see. Uh, I wanted, I've been going through the closet and uh, going through some of the older clothes that can fit me now and seeing what I like and what I don't like and getting stuff to give away, which is kind of exciting because I don't really have any more clothes left that doesn't fit me. What? Um, and look how cute. I found this like this this cute top that uh, I probably have not worn in several years. Very cool. All right, I'm about to have lunch. Um, what am I having? I'm having a little bit of salad. So this is my salad. Normally, if I make salad out of romaine, I'll use like a whole romaine head. I Salad's a bit of a slider for me. When you chew it up, it just disappears. Um, so I can actually eat quite a bit of salad. Um, this is not a whole romaine head. I'm not that super hungry or anything like right now. Or, But uh, this seemed like a reasonable amount. Uh, the dressing that I have on there is green, uh, a green goddess dressing that I make. Uh, and the base of that dressing is pretty much like a, it's like half mayo, half, uh, I think I used Greek yogurt this time. Um, and then you add in like a, an onion, like an, uh, either a small onion or half of a large onion, um, uh, Italian spices, uh, and a little bit of either white wine vinegar or you can, I use, um, the Japanese rice vinegar. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is in there. Salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it. And it's really good. You can also make that with fresh herbs and it's delicious. So it's like a green goddess type of dressing. Um, what is the other thing I'm eating? Mm, it's so yummy. I made this recipe up the other day. This, yum, um, is a jalapeno popper that I made. Uh, and I actually, um, I did it with a, a filling that's like a, like a tuna melt filling. So it's got um, cream cheese, uh, grated cheddar, um, and I put in, um, a tin of tuna. I used the Rio Mari tuna. I don't, I don't, I don't like the other tuna that much, but I had, I had the Rio Mari tuna, so that's what I did. And, um, wrapped it in a slice of prosciutto, and then they were baked in the oven, and that is so yummy. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to eating this. This is the thing, right? It's gotta be delicious. It's gotta be delicious, and this is so good. Hey guys, so it is 6.40 right now, 
and starting to get a little hungry and so I was looking for something to make and looked in my freezer. I've got a whole bunch of frozen shit. I have to stop buying food because I, I buy stuff and then I throw it in the freezer and forget about it and then keep buying new stuff. Um, so I got these at Costco. They are feta and spinach uh, sausages. Um, the stats are one sausage is 160 calories and 16 grams of protein. So this is right on target. Um, two carbs, zero fiber, zero sugar, uh, 10 grams of fat, which is, you know, whatever. Um, blah, blah, blah. sodium I don't care about at all, at all. I like sodium. I need sodium actually. Um, my body gives up salt way too fast and so, um, I put a lot of salt in my food. Uh, alrighty. I, oh, uh, my, my dad is actually a salt advocate. You can check out his videos. He's actually got some recipes too. Um, at the Salt Guru here on YouTube, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna defrost these in the microwave, I think, and then um, I think I'm gonna have it with. I made a, a kale and mushroom sort of cheesy casserole thing uh, the other day, and I've got leftovers from that in my fridge, so I'm gonna have that with this. I very briefly want to mention something about um, ratios when you're looking at uh, nutritional information on on food packages. Uh, generally, I try to aim for a 10 to 1 ratio with the calories to protein grams um, because if you think about it, okay, so let's say you want to hit a protein goal of, uh, you know, a thousand, uh, sorry, <laughs> oh, that was a oh my god, no, but 100 grams of protein and uh, you've got a thousand calories to work with, you, you need a 10 to 1 ratio on, on that food. So like, if you're looking at the calories, so let's say it has uh, 200 calories should have 20 grams of protein in it, right? If you want to hit your, your protein goal that your surgeon gave you. Um, I got this tip from uh, Wendy. She uses it all the time, and uh, I have found it immensely helpful. When I go to the store and I, and I look at packages, I immediately flip to that, and I know whether it's decent for me or not um, as a protein, right? Because sometimes you get sausages, and they're like 260 calories, and it's like 8 grams of protein. Like, what else is in there? It's like, yeah. So, uh, that 10 to 1 ratio, look for it. <laughs> hey guys, back with my dinner. And this is it. Yum. Uh, kale and mushroom casserole and then the, the um, I think they're chicken sausages. <laughs> it's funny because I said the same thing in another video. I've gotten to the point where I cannot eat anymore. I am full. I actually did a pretty good job. I mean like, well. I should be careful about saying that. Finishing the plate is not my goal here. <laughs> uh, I had an ex-boyfriend who used to congratulate me like every time I finished a plate and he, he was the one I was with when I experienced all of my regain. So yeah. Um, so no, no uh, qualification of good or bad. This is what I ate. Um, most of that sausage, um, and most of the kale casserole. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about this kale casserole. Let me just get my research information that I that I got. So, um, okay, the things that are in this casserole. Oh my god, I'm so full right now. Seriously, I gotta burp. Hang on. <laughs> wow, I I actually burped quite a lot, which which probably means I ate a bit too much. I am good. Okay. So, um, the things that are in my uh, kale mushroom casserole, I had a shitload of mushrooms that I had to use. Um, and then, um, so I was like, what am I going to do with this? And then I thought, oh, that's up so much. So, I grow garden. I've got kale coming out of my ears in the back. We've been having a lot of rain here in Niagara, and the kale just like exploded in growth like in the past couple of weeks. And there is a ton of kale coming out of my garden. And I have like, I think I've, I planted like, I don't know, five different kinds or something. So there's actually four different kinds of kale in here. Uh, if you know me on Facebook, I got a picture of all the, well, I had it, what do think? Did I change it? I don't know. There's a picture of kale. That was one of my banners. But, uh, so in the, in this casserole, I put, uh, blue scotch kale, um, scarlet kale, rainbow dinosaur kale, and, uh, cavalonero, which is, um, dinosaur kale, they call it here. It's like the Italian uh, kale. Uh, I also made a cheesy bechamel sauce with this. Um, so there is um, 
cheddar cheese melted into a bechamel sauce. Uh, and how you make a bechamel sauce is you start with a roux. A roux contains flour. All keto people are going to like freak out right now. Um, there is two tablespoons of flour in this recipe. And I think like two to three cups of milk. Uh, you start off a roux. A roux starts with um, flour and butter that you uh, toast together in the pan. And then you add cold milk to it, whisk it, and it makes a thick uh, white sauce. And then you can add um, cheese to that if you want or other things to flavor it. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, okay, this, okay, bechamel cheese sauce makes almost everything freaking delicious. Delicious, okay? The big casserole that I made has about, uh, I would say, eight fairly decent sized servings for a weight loss surgery patient. Um, so in two tablespoons... Before you freak out about the flour, let's break it down, okay? In two tablespoons of flour, there's about 11 grams of carbohydrates, 11 to 12 grams of carbohydrates. So think about that. That's like, what, one and a half grams of carbs per serving from the flour. I'm not going to sweat it. Um, I want to talk to you about protein and vegetables because a lot of people don't realize this. So um, I was talking earlier about the way that I chose those sausages and how it was about that 10 to 1 ratio. Well, guess what? I'm going to tell you a little bit of nutritional information about some of the things that are in here. Um, uh, mushrooms, 100 grams, 22 calories, and 3 grams of protein, better than 10 to 1. Um, kale, 100 grams, uh, 49 calories, 4.3 grams of protein, almost 10 to 1. The milk is milk. It's not quite 10 to 1, but it's not bad either. Uh, and then the flour, okay, so the flour that I used, 55 calories is 2 grams of protein, but there's so little included in that bechamel by the time it gets to your serving size that it's a negligible amount. There is in the cheese, as everybody knows. So that side dish is actually high protein. Um, there are a lot of greens that are like a better than 10 to 1 ratio. It's actually really, really surprising. So you know what? Like look, look up some of the... or. If you buy packaged stuff, you, you'll see. I mean, a whole a whole vegetable doesn't require nutritional labeling, but the packages do. So you can even if you you're curious and you're at the store and let's say you pick up a, a head of broccoli and you're like, hmm, I don't know how much is in broccoli. You can check it on your phone, but if you go over to where they have packaged broccoli or even in the frozen section, it'll have the nutritional information because it's a packaged food, um, and it's the same. It's just the same. It's just frozen or not, or packaged or not. Um, and there's a lot of stuff that's really, really high in protein and great amount of fiber in it, super tasty, and like, you know, there's lots of good options for all of us. I also want to add that I wanted to have a glass of wine with my dinner, uh, but I don't have any. <laughs> I thought there was maybe like a, a bottle of white or something in the fridge, but there's there's nothing left. I had another bottle, but I gave it to my neighbor because she's been so nice to me. So um, that's it for now. I'm sure I'll be eating more food later. Uh, 10 to 10 right now and I'm sitting in bed watching videos and uh, I was feeling munchy. I did finish the rest of my plate uh, from earlier, maybe about like an hour ago uh, and I'm still kind of munchy and so one of my go-to snacks for munchies in the evening or while I'm watching TV or something like that um, is this. I love this stuff. These are roasted uh, seaweed snacks. Don't get the weird flavored ones. Just get plain. Uh, I know that uh, there's a brand in the States that has them, but they've got like weird, some kind of weird flavors. Go to an Asian grocery store. Get the plain ones if they have them at your Costco. These ones are really good. This particular package is really big. Um, so this is... The package of seaweed. Yummy. Mm. I'm going to give you the stash for this whole thing. Let me preface this by saying I usually never ever eat the whole thing. I share it with my dog and I usually go through maybe about a half to two thirds of the package. If you want to eat the whole thing, um, it'll be 100 calories, uh, 5 grams of protein, um, Five carbs, five fiber, so that if you're doing net carbs, there's no net carbs. And 1.5 grams of fat, so that's like, what, like seven and a half? 
um, yeah, this is oh, so good. Um, don't eat the desic desiccant packet. <laughs> Uh, but these are so good. And yeah, I share them with my dog. It's so, he's so funny when he eats them. It sticks to the roof of his mouth. And he just keeps licking it. It's so cute. It's so cute. These are yummy. Super healthy. Sea vegetables are really, really good for you guys. There's so many, like, micronutrients in here. It's, like, awesome. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So I probably had about one and a half servings of the uh, seaweed snacks. It is quarter after midnight. And I'm about to go to bed. I have one more thing to add to this. <laughs> um, I get the Swiss Delice 72% uh, dark chocolates from Costco. I like these. Just a little, you know, indulgence. And I like it. It's fully sustainable. Uh, all right. That's it, guys. That is my full day. Um, I want to mention that I do... My hunger changes throughout the month, and actually it's pretty correlated to my cycle. Um, the week leading up to, about, <laughs> uh, and then um, during my cycle, I have really high hunger levels. I would say my lowest hunger times is probably when I'm, like, ovulating. I know what that's about, but it is what it is. Um, all right, guys, that's it. Full day of eating. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night, and remember, weight loss surgery is not a tool until you learn how to use it.